Hello, my name is Jennifer Burley, and I am a PharmD candidate of the class of 2022, and today I will be discussing terazosin, also known as Hytrin. I will begin by discussing a brief overview of terazosin. Terazosin is in the drug class alpha-1 blocker. It is an antihypertensive agent. And the indications for terazosin include benign prostatic hyperplasia and hypertension. Now I will discuss the mechanism of action of terazosin. Terazosin is an alpha-1 adrenergic receptor blocker that specifically blocks alpha-1 receptors. Alpha-1 receptors are found in smooth muscle tissue, which include vascular smooth muscle, sphincter smooth muscle, and urinary bladder smooth muscle and can also include the prostate. Blocking these receptors in the prostate leads to reduced symptoms and improved urine flow for men who have benign prostatic hyperplasia. Next, I will discuss adult dosing for terazosin. The first indication is benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. The patient would initially take one milligram oral capsule once daily at bedtime and then the dose will be titrated slowly every few weeks from two milligram, then five milligram, and then finally 10 milligram, based on patient response and tolerability. The usual dose is 10 milligram once daily, but if there's no response after four to six weeks of 10 milligram once daily, then the patient may increase to a maximum dose of 20 milligrams once daily. For the indication hypertension, Initially, the patient would take one milligram oral capsule once daily. The dose would be titrated gradually as needed based on patient response and tolerability, up to a maximum of 20 milligrams per day in one to two divided doses. Now I will discuss formulations and dosing adjustments for terazosin. The generic comes in oral capsules and they're available in one milligram, two milligram, five milligram, and 10 milligrams. The brand name Hytrine has been discontinued. There are no renal dose adjustments required and there are no hepatic dose adjustments required. Some common adverse effects of terazosin include dizziness, nausea, increased heart rate, swelling or puffiness in hands, feet, or lower legs, myasthesia, headache, weakness, low blood pressure, drowsiness, blurry vision, and nasal congestion. Now I will discuss some serious adverse effects of terazosin. This includes allergic reactions such as a rash, fever, or shortness of breath, priapism, low blood platelet count, irregular heartbeat, and intraoperative floppy iris syndrome which is a condition where there's a loss of muscle tone in the iris of the eye. Patients should seek immediate medical attention if any of these adverse effects occur. Now I will discuss warnings, precautions, and contraindications associated with terazosin. Intraoperative floppy iris syndrome has been observed in cataract surgery patients who were on or were previously treated with alpha-1 blockers such as terazosin. Taking this medication may impair physical or mental abilities. Therefore, patients must be cautioned about performing tasks that require mental alertness, such as operating machinery or driving. Taking this medication may cause significant orthostatic hypotension and syncope, especially with the first dose or the first few days of therapy of terazosin. A sudden drop in blood pressure may also occur if the therapy is interrupted for a few days, the dosage is rapidly increased, or if another antihypertensive drug is used along with terazosin. Priapism has been associated with patients who are taking terazosin, and although it is rare, patients should seek immediate medical assistance for erections lasting longer than four hours. Prostatic carcinoma cancer should be ruled out before beginning therapy with terazosin due to many symptoms of BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, and prostate cancer are very similar. Terazosin has been determined to be an agent that can may exacerbate underlying myocardial dysfunction in heart failure patients as well. 
patient education of teradosin. Patients should take this medication at bedtime, especially the first dose, because it may help prevent syncope or loss of consciousness. It is important to take this medication at the same time every day as directed by your doctor. Avoid activities requiring mental alertness or coordination until you know how teradosin may affect you because this medication may cause dizziness and somnolence. Rise slowly from a sitting or lying position because teradosin may cause a sudden drop in blood pressure from rising too quickly. Avoid sudden discontinuation of this drug because this may cause rebound hypertension. Avoid alcohol while taking terazosin, and if you miss a dose of terazosin, take the dose as soon as you remember unless it is close to a regularly scheduled dose, then just take one dose. Do not double or take extra doses of terazosin. Next, I will discuss monitoring parameters for terazosin. These include standing and sitting supine blood pressure, especially following the initial dose at two to four hours following the dose and thereafter. The blood pressure should be checked regularly with a target blood pressure of less than 130 over 80 as recommended, and then improvement in urinary symptoms should be monitored as well. These are my references. Thank you for listening to my presentation.